next incident I'll share with you is actually Jibreel giving advice in a very subtle way, but it's profound advice as well. This narration that I'm about to share with you is so profound. al hafid ibn Rajab rahimahullah in his famous book Al-Khushu' fi salah Humility and Prayer, the last chapter is just about this hadith, even though it has nothing to do with prayer because of what it means. The Prophet Sallallahu he says in authentic hadith that I was sitting with Jibreel alayhi salam. فَإِذًا شَقَّ أُفُقُ السَّمَاءِ And then all of a sudden the sky split وَنَزَلَ مَلَكِ And an angel came down. فَأَقْبَلَ إِلَيْنَا And he started to come close to us. Now you want to know what makes this narration so strange? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi says, فَلَمَّا رَآهُ جِبْرِيلِ تَسَاغَرْ When Jibreel saw this angel, he became smaller. He held himself. The ulama say tasagar, he held himself like bracing for something. The angel came to the Prophet and said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, inni Rasulullah ilayk. I'm a messenger that's been sent to you from God. Ukhayiruka. I'm giving you a choice. Baina an takuna. Nabiyan abda aw nabiyan malika. I'm here to give you a choice. Either you live, you're a prophet who lives like a king or a prophet that lives like a humble slave. Who can give me an example of nabiyan malika? A prophet that lives like a king. Sulaiman alayhi salam, Dawood alayhi salam, and Nabi and Malika means that you'll live comfortable. Look, you can have a great life, live very comfortably, be a king, have the riches of this world, do whatever you want, and you'll still have the hereafter. It's not going to decrease from you in any way whatsoever. So you can either be that or you can continue to live like a humble slave. I mean, the Prophet used to go nights in hunger, stones tied to his stomach. He suffered from poverty at the very worst, even after success, right? So you have a choice now. So the Prophet said, فَنَظَرْتُ إِلَىٰ جبريل. I looked at Jibreel. He said, فَأَشَارَ إِلَيَّ أَنْ تَوَاضَعُ Jibreel did this. So the Prophet said, I said to him, بَلْ نَبِيًا عَبْدًا I'll choose to be a prophet that lives like a humble slave. So the angel left. So I looked at Jibreel alayhi salam. This was very strange. Jibreel alayhi salam said, هَذَا الْمَلَكِ This angel, لَمْ يَنْزِلْ قَبْلَ الْيَوْمِ He's never been down before this day. So the Prophet says, فَمَا بَالُكَ تَسَغَرْتْ Why is it that you got smaller and, and, and we're afraid? He said, وَاللَّهِ مَا ظَنَنْتُهُ نَزَلَ إِلَّا بِقِيَامِ السَّاعَةِ He said, I swear by Allah, I didn't think that he came except to announce the Day of Judgment. Who was that angel? Israfil. When Jibreel saw Israfil come down, he thought it was all over. So Jibreel even became afraid at the sight of Israfil. And Ibn Rajab rahimullah, the, he ends his book, with Bal Nabi and Abda, choose to be a humble servant. And how did this affect the Prophet ﷺ physically as well? I mean, obviously, he continued to live in very humble means. The Prophet, ﷺ, when he used to eat his food, sometimes he'd lay back, recline, and eat. But after that incident, the Prophet ﷺ would only eat his food sitting up. So the Sahaba asked him, Ya Rasulullah, why is it that you only eat your food sitting up? He said, Because this is more befitting for Nabi and Abda, for a Prophet that will live like a humble slave. So it affected the Prophet that incident actually affected the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 